Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to fix a flat tire fast and easy. Now you could have a flat tire pretty much in anywhere. It could be in your own garage, while you're driving on the road, or even worse, while you're driving on the freeway. And that's exactly where I realized that I've got a flat tire. I'm in the middle of the freeway, miles and miles away from home. A tire shop is nowhere near to be found, so what are you going to do? Well, there are a few things you can do in a situation like this. But I'm gonna start with what most people will think of doing, that is changing out the flat tire. First off, go turn on your hazards so other road users can see you from far away. And they can even prepare to slow down if they need to. Alright, then you take out the jack and the wheel wrench that comes with your car, loosen the lug nuts, place the jack under the car near the tire, jack up the car from the pinch field, take off the flat tire, Put the spare tire on. Hand tighten the lug nuts. Lower the car and remove the jack. Then tighten the wheel nuts. And you are done. But the problem is that this could be a lot of hard work for some people. Tires could be heavy, especially in a big vehicle like this. Lug nuts could be super tight where you're unable to get them off. Sometimes the spare wheel is mounted under the car where it's not the most convenient place to get to. You may not on a flat ground where it is not safe to use the jack. Or maybe you don't have any clearance to use the jack at all. Or you simply could be in a situation like this, where you're on a very busy freeway, big trucks driving past you shaking the entire vehicle, and you definitely don't want to spend too long on the open road because it is kind of dangerous, and you really want to get back on the car and drive away as soon as possible. So the first thing and probably the most important thing you can do is to keep some emergency items in your vehicle. So I keep some gloves, let's put them on, couple of bottles of water, a small toolkit with some basic tools, a tire repair kit, and here comes the most important emergency item of them all, a portable air compressor. Portable air compressors are real handy, they come with a small air hose and a long power cable and that is everything you need. Then you hook it onto your car's battery and the compressor is ready. Then connect one end of the air hose to the compressor and the other end to the valve stem on the tire and start pumping. And if you're not sure how much air to put in, there's a stick on the door jam. Or you can look up in the owner's manual. They both mention how much air you should have in your tires. So once you're done, you can unscrew the pump and even inspect the tire to see if the tire has any rapid leaks because you shouldn't continue to drive with the rapid leak in your tire. So make sure you don't hear any hissing noises or even better, get a bottle of water and pour some water all over the tire. Then when you get to the area where the leak is, you will see the air is coming out in small bubbles. Speaking about the leak, look I got a nail stuck in my tire. But at least it's a slow leak. So once you confirm that you only have a slow leak, you can drive to a tire shop if you can find one around you or to somewhere safe where we can remove the nail and fix the leak. For that, we're gonna be using the tire repair kit. The kit comes with a reamer, a plug tool, some plugs and a tire pressure gauge. Now, for some reason, this kit didn't come with rubber cement, which is sort of a glue used for bonding rubber products. So what I did was I bought some rubber cement separate and keep it in the repair kit. Now, in my case, I was able to find where the leak is with some plain water. But if you have a very small leak, it could be difficult to find the leak with some plain water. So you can add some liquid soap into the water. Then spray down the tire and when you get to the area where the leak is, you'll see the bubbles coming out like mad. If you want, you can even jack up the car just a little bit to spin the tire. So you can get some easy access to the leak. Especially if your leak is in the rear tire where you can't turn the wheel like you can do in the front. Alright. Now you want to remove the nail, so get a pair of pliers or cutters or whatever you have. Then you want to pick the nail and pull it out. Now this looks like a very stubborn nail to pick. You can see the nail head is worn out and the nail is sitting flush against the face of the tire. So take your time. Now when I say a nail, it's actually a screw. I can see the threads. So I'm trying to undo it the rest of the way. Alright, now you want to get the reaming tool and stick it in the hole. You have to work the reaming tool back and forth a few times until you see some rubber material on the rim. The idea is to make the hole big enough so that you can force the plug tool into the hole with the plug. 
So once you're done, you leave the rim on the tire so the air doesn't leak. Then you take out one of the plugs from the kit. This stuff is really sticky. Then get your plug tool and you want to insert a plug into the crack like you thread the needle. Now this could be kind of hard to do. So you can use a screwdriver to open up the crack just a little bit like that. Then flatten down one end of the plug and push it through the head. Use some rubber cement to lubricate if you want and pull it halfway through. Then apply some rubber cement on the plug. You go back to the tire, pull out the reamer and insert the plug halfway through just like that. Then you pull out the plug tool and the leak is now sealed. Then you want to cut off the extra plug leaving 2 to 3 millimeters from the treads. This is important. As you continue to drive down the road, this extra plug material will get flattened down so the leak will seal better from the outside as well. Then air up the tire. And you are done. I want to hit it with some soapy water one more time to make sure the leak is completely sealed, which it is. So now you can continue to drive with the leak free tire. Having said that, this tire plugging can only be done if the leak is in the tire crown, which is the tread area right here. If the leak is in the tire shoulder, which are these areas right here, or in the sidewall, which are these areas right here. Then you can't plug the tire, it is not safe. These areas are designed to bear the weight of the vehicle. Especially when you are cornering, there's a lot of flex on these areas which can put out a lot of stress on the plug. Even if you take the car to a tire shop, most likely they will advise you to replace the tire. Now, even in the tread area, plugging the tire is not considered as a permanent solution. Because inside the tire, there are steel wires. So if the hole wasn't sealed properly, water can get into the tire and these steel wires will start to rust and eventually make the tire not safe to use. But if you do it properly, by which I mean you clean the hole real good, use plenty of rubber cement so it seals better from the inside, and leave 2 to 3 millimeters of plug on the outside so it seals better from the outside as well, you can get really good results from plugs. But if you want, you can always take the car to a tie shop. Next up, I want to show you another area which is very common for having leaks, and that is the valve stem. So just like you did before, get a bottle of water and pour some water on the valve stem. If there's a leak, then you'll see air bubbles coming out of it. So to fix this, you're gonna need a valco tool and some new valves. Inside the valve stem, there's a valve. So all you have to do is to get your valco tool in there, unscrew the leaking valve and take it out. Then install a new valve in, tighten the valve with the tool and your leak is fixed in less than a minute. So be sure to keep these items as well in your tire repair kit. Now some of you might think, hey, why bother with all these? You can get one of these cans, that is so quick. Well, that video is coming up. As always, if you like this video, press the like button. For more videos, be sure to subscribe. Click on the notification bell. All the tools I have used in this video are linked in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.